Welcome back. Uh, you're watching CNN News 18 with me, Griha. We're getting some more breaking news now. We told that the centre is now filed an affidavit before the Supreme Court. And opposing same-sex marriages is what the affidavit really claims. Uh, the centre has gone on to cite Indian culture. And they have also said that even after decriminalisation of homosexuality, petitioners cannot claim right of same-sex marriage. Taking this across to Ananya. Ananya, this is going to have mixed reactions. Uh, because ever since the decriminalization of homosexuality, this was that one need by the LGBTQI community that even same-sex marriage needs to be allowed. However, this petition, this affidavit of the center says otherwise. Well, definitely, uh, if you remember, Griha, this had started from the Delhi High Court. This petition was heard uh, for a very long time before the Delhi High Court. The center had filed various affidavits, uh, within a lot of times their response had changed and uh, a lot of times they had also sort of Time from the, uh, in fact, the Delhi High Court that we want, we are still considering it. The Law Commission is considering the issue. But at the same point of time, in fact, now, today as well, the uh, Supreme Court has uh, very, very, uh, in fact, uh, it, they are very, very clearly told uh, the Supreme Court that, you know, uh, the, the idea of same sex marriages is against the Indian uh, cultural ethos and cannot be allowed. In fact, um, um, the, the center says that there can be no fundamental right for recognition of a particular form of social relationship. Center says. Uh, that in fact, uh, you know, while um, while other forms of union may exist in the society which would not be unlawful, it is open for a society to give legal recognition of the form of a union which a society considered to be uh, quint quintessential uh, building block for uh, the existence. In fact, it also goes on to say that state does not recognize other forms of marriages, union, but they are not unlawful. In fact, uh, uh, the center also goes on to say that there cannot be a fundamental right for recognition of a particular form of marriage. They say that living together as partners and having a, a, you know, a, a sexual relationship is not comparable to the Indian family unit. And I quote it from the center's affidavit that living together as partners and having sexual relationship by the same sex individual, which is now decriminalized, is not comparable with the Indian family unit concept of a husband, a wife and children, which necessarily presupposes a biological man as a husband, a biological woman as a wife, and the children born out of the union between the two um, who are, uh, in fact, reared by the biological man as okay. a father and the biological woman as a mother, is what the central mm -hmm. government goes on to say. That, uh, in fact, um, the center also goes on to say that considering its social value, the state has a compelling interest in granting the recognition mm -hmm. to heterosexual marriages Hmm. Only to the exclusion of the other forms of marriages and union centers says that statutory recognition of marriages limited to the heterosexual marriages is okay. the norm throughout history and are far. Uh, I, I, I I'd request you to stay on with me. Uh, just please stay on with me. We would further be talking about what really this uh, affidavit entails that has been put uh, forth in the court by the center. We also have Mr. Rahul Ishwar who is now joining us on the broadcast. Rahul. First of all, how do you take this affidavit, considering uh, the centre has gone on to quote-unquote oppose same-sex marriages? We have had uh, couples from India who go abroad to get married. Uh, and this is a demand that has come very, very strongly by the LGBTQI community that uh, after the decriminalization of homosexuality, even the marriages within uh, you know, same-sex needs to be allowed. However, this says differently. Two submissions. One, nobody is homophobic and nobody will support homophobia. At the same point of time, we should go in a very cautious way regarding acceptance of marriage for homosexual couples. All over the world, throughout the history for centuries and millenniums, we have followed the heterosexual monogamous marriage culture as the right thing. So we need to be very cautious. We need to tread in a very uh, cautious and uh, intelligent way. We need to also discuss regarding how much in animal kingdom there is homosexuality and such questions. That's mm. At the same point of time, it's a general consensus among all the religious groups that homophobia is absolutely a no-no and nobody should be promoting homophobia. But marriage is too big a step that we should be very cautious and we should be thinking about it. I hope government is, will take that very cautious path, rightly so. Right. And uh, Rahul, this is pretty much in line with uh, what the Supreme Court of India judgment of August 2022 also claims, that even though there is decriminalization of uh, uh, homosexuality that has now been agreed upon in the country, uh, cohabitation of marriages within same sex would not be allowed. 
nearly everyone agrees with decriminalization, but mm. the problem in giving the marriage the legal status is a bit problematic. There can be cohabitation, they can live together, but marriage as an institution is a heterosexual institution which has been having its own sanctity for a very long period of time. So why marriage? And we should be very cautious about it. And the new government is rightly so. There needs to be widespread consultation, consensus in this matter mm. before we move any further ahead. All right, Rahul, thank you so much for that. Uh, going back to my colleague Ananya, who continues to bring us all the inputs vis-a-vis -vis this story that we are tracking. Uh, Ananya, you were talking about this affidavit by the center that has been put forth in the court. Now, I, as I mentioned, August 2022 Supreme Court order where they said that registration of same-sex marriages are not going to be allowed. However, that respite that has been given to the LGBTQI community, decriminalization homosexuality, also allowing, uh, you know, uh, cohabitation or live-in relationships is something that is going to stay. Is that what it says? Well, yes, definitely. Uh, it goes on to say that, you know, uh, these same-sex marriages and, uh, the, the, you know, the couples of same-sex are definitely, uh, you know, a, a right and that has, uh, 377 has been, in fact, struck down by the uh, Supreme Court uh, by where it's in the Naftesh Shah or judgment. But at the same point of time, when we talk of marriages in the Indian culture context, in the Indian ethos concept, there is already a difference. Think the uh, definition of marriage there is uh, it is against the Indian family unit which consists of man, woman and uh, in fact the children born out of it which we uh, generally call family is what the main major contention of the, the, in fact the central government is. It also goes on to say that sta state has compelling interest in recognizing heterosexual marriages and excluding same-sex marriage uh, uh, considering its social values the state has a compelling interest in granting recognition to the heterosexual marriage only to the exclusion of other ma uh, forms of marriages or unions and to say that the statutory recognition of marriages is limited to heterosexual marriages in the norm that throughout history and are fundamental to both the existence and the state. Considering its social value, the state has a compelling interest in granting recognition to the heterosexual marriages only to the exclusion mm -hmm. um, of other forms of marriages and union is what the center goes on to say. It mm -hmm. also goes on to say that the state does not have um, uh, recognized other forms of marriages and unions, but they are not unlawful. Uh, while other forms of union may exist in the society which would not be unlawful, it is open for the society to give legal okay. recognition of the form of a union. Absolutely. And Anaya, so over. remember, Anaya, they are mentioning that how four LGBTQI couples had in fact put forth uh, this plea before the Supreme Court. The matter is all set to be heard tomorrow. Uh, meanwhile, before that happens, we have managed to get an affidavit uh, information that the centre has now put before the court on why uh, this allowing of same-sex marriages should not be done in, in the country. We are shifting our focus. We are going uh, to this next piece of news.